third video of the day, or the third video that I'm recording today, uh, we're gonna be taking Hogzilla today, and he's a nice little boar. Today is your lucky day, buddy. Play your cards right, and you're going home with a great story to tell the grandkids. You're about to meet a one-of-a-kind swine, the biggest, nastiest boar you'll ever see. The locals call him Hogzilla. This monster boar is usually milling around in dense cover this time of day. Finding him isn't going to be easy. Hogs have a keen sense of hearing and a nose like a hound dog. You'll need to keep a low profile, watch your step, and stay downwind at all times. You'll make a racket tromping through that brush, so try to move at the same time that boar does. Those giant pig feet will cover the noise of your own footsteps. You'll have to get close to pierce Hogzilla's hide with an arrow. Don't take a shot until the range is under 25 yards. Stay calm, pick a spot, and good luck. This is just me or is that woman? Now there's Hogzilla's living room. Well, hold on a second. The wind's at your back right now. You go charging straight in, Hogzilla will be gone before you know it. Make sure the wind's in your favor before you go in after him. I can't go behind the ridge right there, unfortunately. Thirty. Even a caribou can't really take a uh, arrow like this. Behind the bush. As far as I remember, Hogzilla's got like a sort of a ramp pattern that he's just traveling through. He's just walking about in circles. As far as I remember. Should be good to just chill out here, I think. Twenty-five. I don't want to take a shot through the bush.
a good shot. Ooh, what's low though? Heart? Oh, I think just above the heart. Yeah. That's a good shot. Right on target. I can already smell the barbecue. Way to go. What are you waiting for? Go claim your trophy. Yes, sir. I will sure will. 600 gear credits for him, too. No ways. 6,600 gear credits earned for the hunt. No ways. You know, big old boar hunting's always a rush, especially when they charge. It really gets that adrenaline pumping. Everybody sees those big tusks, and that's what they care about. But their meat is great eating, too. Back home, we call them Barbies, because they barbecue up so well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Next time, we're going to be doing Northeast. And... Yeah. May as well just watch, in the, watch the intro for it, because the video will be uh, absolutely short. So let's go ahead. The next leg of our tour takes us deep into the wilds of the American Northeast. This territory presents a different set of challenges for a hunter. The dense deciduous forest reduces visibility, while the broken terrain creates choke points and gullies. There are plenty of places to hide. Out here, sounds and smells are worth as much as a good pair of eyes. See you later.